Let's start. The project name is the alarm manager with a time picker. Let's see the project structure. We have set up the view binding at the app level build.gradle file. Here we have the main activity and broadcast receiver. And in the UI, we have an activity underscore main.xml file, which is the main activities layout. Let's see the UI. In the activity underscore main.xml file, we have two buttons, the start alarm and the stop alarm. And we have an edit text, where we will select the time from a time picker. Let's see the Kotlin code now. This is the broadcast receiver. Whenever an alarm gets triggered, we call this broadcast receiver and show a toast. These are the imports. This is the main activity. These are the data members. In the onCreate function, first, we set up the view binding. Then we create an intent of the broadcast receiver and get the alarm service. Then we create a pending intent of the broadcast receiver. When the edit text is clicked, we call the open time picker dialog function. This is the open time picker dialog function. Here we open a time picker dialog and set the current time as default. When the user selects a particular time, we display that time in the edit text. When the start alarm button is clicked, we call the alarm manager dot set and allow while idle function, where we set the time and pending intent. The alarm manager dot RTC attribute does not wake up the Android device. Here we input the time that the user will pick in the time picker. When the stop alarm button is clicked, this is how we stop the alarm using the pending intent. Let's run the app. So that's it. That's how you can implement an alarm manager with a time picker dialog in Kotlin Android. Thanks for watching.